name is Rachel and I'm here with my April book haul. As always, I have a ton of books. No excuses, no preamble. I just have a book buying problem and I think that's just how I'm gonna have to live my life. So let's jump in first to the books that I bought um, at a Barnes & Noble haul that I did. So we'll jump in. First, I picked up Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I know this has gotten a lot of buzz on booktube. I think this is being made into a movie. I know it's about a heavy set girl that gets involved with beauty pageants and I decided to give it a try. Next up, I have My Cousin Rachel by Daphne Du Maurier. I picked this up with my mom because we want to read it before the movie comes out this summer. And I love this cover with Rachel Weiss on it. I'm so excited. Um, I, I started reading one of her books before and I liked it, but I had to put it down for one reason or another. Then I picked up Jamaica Inn last year and I did not like it. So I'm very interested to see how I will feel about this one. Next up, I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I did not have this, I haven't read it. Um, a lot of my kids have been watching the TV show and a lot of them are wanting to read the book. So I decided to grab myself a copy and try to get into it. I'm just not sure. It just seems like it's going to be a very depressing book and I don't like depressing books. So I just feel like this is going to be hard for me to get into, but I did buy it so that I could give it a whirl and maybe watch some of the show. Next, I have kind of a rando one. It's called The Asylum by John Harwood. And uh, it's basically about a woman, I think, who is locked in an asylum who might not be crazy. Um, but it sounded interesting. I like pretty much anything that has to do with an asylum. That seems to be um, a tag word for me that gets me interested. So went ahead and got this one. I also picked up my own copy of City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. This has been getting tons of rave reviews and it sounds amazing, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, I'm hoping to get to this this summer. Next, I picked up The White Princess by Philippa Gregory. I basically picked this up because I saw the previews for the television show and it looked amazing, so I wanted to go ahead and give the book a try. I probably won't end up watching the show because isn't it on stars? Yeah, and I don't have stars. But it's, it looked interesting, so I'm excited to read the book. It seems like all of these are from TV shows, so I feel like that was the theme of this Barnes & Noble visit. But the next one is also um, a, going to be a movie this summer, and that is The Gunslinger, The Dark Tower, Part 1 by Stephen King. I... I have to say, I, I try to get into Stephen King, but I just don't. I think this is going to be my last, like, try with Stephen King. But the movie looks really good. I love Idris Elba. I'm gonna give it a try. Speaking of the Stephen King, I decided to read uh, it with one of my friends and I got the book at the library and it's really in hot demand right now because the movie's coming out and that's pretty much why we wanted to read it. Um, she loves Stephen King, I don't really, nah, anyway. but anyway, we decided to read it. I ended up buying my own copy of it so that I could read it and it is a chunker and I just I'm not that into it I'm really struggling with this and like I said I think I'm gonna finish this one and then try the gunslinger the dark towers one and if those don't work for me then I think I'm gonna be done with old Stephen King because it just doesn't do it for me so yeah but I bought this one currently reading it <sighs> I'm not even halfway through yet but I'm going to make it eventually and then lastly I got a uh, historical cr crime fiction collection it says 12 stories from the Bronze Age Britain to medieval Venice to 1930s New York. So I thought that sounded pretty interesting. Uh, it's got various authors and it's all historical crime fiction. Next up, I went to a sale um, at my local library and they had a ton of books that I wanted. So I ended up getting a whole box of books. Um, first up, I got Unbroken. This is by Laura Hillenbrand and I read this last year, I think it was, and I really, really liked it. So I wanted my own copy for my shelves, but Tremendous book. Next, I picked up a copy of Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I've seen a lot of this on booktube and it was there and it was cheap, so I got it. I also picked up Missing Presumed by Susie Steiner. This is another one that I've heard a lot of buzz about. Um, I do really tend to like, uh, like mystery thrillers, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. Next, I picked up Z, a novel of Zelda Fitzgerald by Teresa Ann Fowler. I've had my eye on this one for quite a while. Um, I know my mom wants to read it too, so I went ahead and got it, and we'll both read it someday. I also found another Zelda book, so I decided to pick it up, and I don't know, maybe I'll read them together, but this one's uh, called Call Me Zelda by Erica Roebuck. I've never heard of this one, but 
it's also about Zelda Fitzgerald, so I thought, why not? Next, I picked up The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Jester. I had, I mean, obviously I've heard of it, but I've never read it before. And it came up as an academic team question this year with my students. So when I saw it, I decided I'm gonna give this a read. Next up, I have Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Um, I read one Agatha Christie book either last year or the year before, and I wasn't crazy about it. But she's such a biggie that I feel like I at least need to try again. So I decided to try with probably one of her most famous ones. Um, I'm hoping I'll like this one. Even if I don't, I think I'll try at least one more. Um, I really want to read, and I think it was, and then there were none is the new title it used to be. I think like 12 Little Indians or something, uh, but they changed the title. So I'd like to read both of those, but I found a copy of this at the book sale. So I decided to grab it. I think this is also coming out as a movie later this year as well. And then I thought I had the first book in this series and I didn't, but I found book two and three at the sale. So I decided to pick them up because I thought I had book one, but I don't. So um, the first book is... Da, 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 a Discovery of Witches. These are all by Deborah Harkness. But I picked up book two and three, The Book of Life and Shadow of Night. So now I just need to find the first book. Next, I went to um, a sale for teachers and it was amazing because every book in there was $5. Even the hardbacks that I found, I was so excited. I had to limit myself, but I still got a stack. So first up is Only Love Can Break Your Heart by Ed Tarkington. Um, I don't know too much about this besides I think it's kind of like a um, contemporary family drama. Um, I heard about it on a podcast and I just love the title so I decided to give it a try. I also picked up Last Seen Leaving by Caleb Rowig. I heard a lot of hype about this. I love teenage mysteries so I was excited to get my hands on this one. Next is another one I was super super excited to find. That is uh, The View from the Cheap Seats by Neil Gaiman. I love Neil Gaiman um, and as far as I know this is um, kind of stories about his his life and his career um I am I'm just so excited for this next I picked up in the country we love by Diane Guerrero um uh, she is from Orange is the New Black that's what I recognize her from but I've heard this book is really good and really topical right now with all the political atmosphere we're surrounded with so I was excited to pick this up I'm hoping to give this one a read soon next I got the assassins game by Christy McKay um I remember when I read the description for this a while ago when it came out it kind of sounded like a girl version of the skulls to me I don't know why but it got me interested and I really wanted to read it so I picked it up next up I have ugly by Robert Hoag Hoag Hoge I'm not sure uh, but I was uh, recommended this book um, as kind of um, something along the vein of uh, Wonder by RJ Palacio and my sixth grade students all read Wonder um, and a lot of times once they get past that they'd like to read something similar so I wanted to give this one a read uh, to see if that would be appropriate for them and if they would like it. Next I picked up The Family Romanov Murder Rebellion and the Fall of the Imperial Russia by Cadence Fleming. Um, I have this in my library and everybody that's read it loves it so I decided to go ahead and grab my own copy when I found it for sale and next up is one I was super super excited to find I found it in like the discount bin at the discount store so I mean it was just total rando that I found this there it was just a bunch of books in a basket but it was laying on top I was so excited and that is something wicked a Horatio Wilkes mystery by Alan Gratz um, I have the other book in this series uh, something rotten um, and basically they're like Shakespeare retellings via a teenage guy who is like kind of like a Sherlock Holmes type. It's really weird, but it is so awesome. I love these. And I was so, so sad that he hasn't written another one yet. Um, I heard several years ago that there were rumblings that he might do um, uh, one that tied in with Midsummer Night's Dream. And oh my gosh, I was so excited. 
but it still hasn't come out. I haven't heard anything else about it. And thus far, there are only these two, but I finally have my hands on both of them. I love them. I think they're really neat. Um, I think I'm gonna try to work on getting them into my school libraries because I really think the kids would like them as well. So then I went to another library sale like the next day <laughs> and they had really good ones too. So I got some more. So first I got um, Psycho by Robert Block. Um, I've been on a huge psycho kick lately and I didn't own my own copy of this book so I wanted to go ahead and get it. I also picked up The Girls of Atomic City, The Untold Story of the Women Who Helped Win World War II. This is by Denise Kiernan. Kiernan, I think. Um, it looked really interesting. I've heard great things about it. I feel like there is just a ton of books coming out right now about how women are important to the world and I really like that theme. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I also picked up uh, The Mad Woman Upstairs by Katherine Lowell. This is another one I don't know too much about, but I heard this hyped on a podcast and they kind of sold me on it. So I picked it up when I saw it. And another one. This is a historical fiction book that kind of caught my eye. It's called City of Thieves by David Binioff. So I decided to pick this one up too. Next, Scholastic decided to have a warehouse sale right in the midst of all of this. So you know I went and you know I bought some books. So first I bought uh, the first book in the Seven Wonders series. This is by Peter Lorangus. Lorangus? Not sure. But he's the guy who did uh, the 39 Clues series, which is huge with my kids. Um, I've seen the Seven Wonders around, but I'd never seen the first book. Uh, and I've been wanting to get into it. So as soon as I saw book one, I jumped on it. This specific one is called The Colossus Rises. So I'm going to give this one a try soon. Then I picked up one that I've never heard about. I don't know anything about, but I, it, I just had to have it. It's called The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Bennett by Trenton Lee Stewart. I mean, it just looks like something you need to read. It, it just does. So I picked it up. Uh, I'm excited. This seems like it's going to be kind of like a mystery, maybe fantasy. I'm just, I'm all for it. Next, I picked up The School of Good and Evil by Soman Chinani. One of my students recommended that I read this series because I haven't yet, so I decided to go ahead and pick up a copy. Um, I have heard good things here on booktube as well, so I wanted to jump on board with this. Then I picked up book one and book two of the Serafina and the Black Cloak series. The second book is called Serafina and the Twisted Staff. I've been really, really wanting to read these, and I got an e-arc, I think, yeah, I got an e-arc of the third one, so I need to get caught up because I haven't read them yet. So I went ahead and bought these so I could read them. I heard they're amazing. And lastly, I picked up the first book in the Lockwood & Co. series by Jonathan Stroud. This is called The Screaming Staircase. I've seen this hyped uh, via Scholastic, and this was actually recommended to me by an author that visited our school this year as something that the students might like. So uh, I wanted to jump on board and see what this one is all about. Next, I was sent some arcs for review, so I'm going to go through those really quick. First off is The Last Day of Emily Lindsay by Nick Joseph. Um, this is supposed to be an adult mystery that's coming out in October. Um, it's about this girl who comes, I think she comes into... A police station I can't remember what he does yeah he's a detective and he he runs into this girl somehow and she's not talking but she keeps drawing all the same figures that he's seeing in his dreams and then there's gonna be some weird connection between them so sounds really interesting uh, I am excited to read this one next up I have all the best people by Sonja Yorig I apologize if I butchered your name I think this might already be out yes this came out in March and I think this is just kind of a contemporary drama. Um, I think it involves a really troubled past and trying to move past that into adulthood. Next up, we have The Confessions from the Principal's Kid by Robin Mellum. Um, and this is about a girl who obviously is the principal's child and she feels like an outcast because of that. Um, and I'm sure some sort of school-based drama ensues, but it looked really cute. I think the kids are going to like it. When does it come out? August 1st, 2017. Perfect time for going back to school. I got another YA. This time it's a mystery. It's called The One for Sorrow by Mary Downing Hahn. And it says a ghost story. The kids are always up for ghost stories. Um, this one comes out uh, this summer in July. And this says, um, I think this has to, this is like, 
like a historical take on like bullying it seems like um it takes place in 1918 and um i think they're new to the town and she befriends this girl and then the other girls say don't be friends with her so she decides not to be friends with her and they pick on her and then i think she dies uh from the spanish influenza and i think she comes back to haunt them so yikes Next up is Watch Me Disappear by Janelle Brown. This comes out uh, in July. Oh, it's right here. It's, it's on the front. <laughs> uh, it comes out in July, and I think this is about a woman who disappears and how people deal with her being gone. Um, this building covers a secret that sends him on his own quest so it, as she goes missing they're not sure if she's dead or if she's alive I think her daughter is having like dreams about her mom being alive I don't remember but it sounded really interesting and I love the cover love it next I got a copy of Zen Diagram by Wendy Brandt this already came out I believe yes April 4th um, the tagline says math genius freak of nature loner and I used to be a math teacher so just the fact that it was called Zen Diagram uh, made me made me love it because it sounds like Venn Diagram <laughs> I guess but look at the look at the cover it's a heart Venn Diagram that's pretty awesome next I got The Cottingly Secret by Hazel Gaynor I don't know what this is about um, it is a historical fiction though that comes out in August and the last arc that I got is A Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPena. This is the author of The Couple Next Door. And this is just um, an adult, uh, not fantasy, an adult mystery that's coming out in August that I'm excited to read. I like the cover. It's very chilling. I was also sent a copy of The Fortunate Ones by Ellen Amansky. Um, I don't know what this is about, but... I love this cover. I think this is another one my mom's wanting to read as well. So we might pair read this one. And then lastly, the one that just came in the mail today, Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I read the first book in this series in one day. I loved it, uh, but that's been a while ago and I still haven't read the second book, but I knew I would. So I went ahead and bought this. Um, I'm hoping this summer to just marathon all three because I don't even really remember too I mean I remember the plot of the first one but I don't remember the details I want all the details so I'm hoping this summer to marathon them all oh goodness gracious so those are all the books that I bought in the last month or acquired at least it's a lot I know but I had fun I hope you had fun watching this and I will see you again soon with another video bye for now